John here guys and today we're talking about the Insta360 ONE RS, Insta360's new action cam competitor to the popular GoPro Hero line. The GoPro Hero the super camera for action sports but a few years ago Insta360 came on the scene and their latest revision the ONE RS is really more of a transformer. <laughs> Now the really interesting thing about this is that it is a modular camera system. So by holding this little switch, you can actually pull it apart. The processor and screen is in this little cube. The lens along with the image sensor is in this little cube, which can be replaced. This is the 4K boost lens mod that has an f2.4 16 millimeter ultra wide lens. But you can also put the one inch sensor um, very large circular lens or the dual lens 360. Now this is the $300 configuration right now. You can put it in this configuration with the screen facing backwards for a regular camera style or you can flip it like this. Now the screen is going to be facing forwards. Now this camera actually has attachment points here and here so that you can flip this battery base module to either side. Now we have a forward facing selfie style camera system right here and we just do the inverse of that to swap it over and now we have a more traditional rear facing camera system right here and this just very easily pops on. You also have this little case. There's a tiny little windscreen inside of this case that reduces the noise. Now with this case on, these two weigh about the same weight. However, when you take this off, this configuration is now about 40 grams lighter than this. So you have the option of having the case for extra durability or you can fly it with full battery life like this for 40 grams less. Now GoPro has come out with the recent Bones naked camera system, but that doesn't have a battery on the Bones option. You actually have to supply a battery from a drone fright flight controller or some other mechanism. So I actually prefer this naturally lighter version right here. They also have this really cool selfie stick that you can attach right here. Mine didn't come with this piece, but I easily 3D printed it. Now I'm good to go. It kind of reminds me of the Sword of Omens on Thundercats. GoPro's primary competition comes out with a backwards compatible next generation of their one modular action camera line that prioritizes the videographer on the go over the rough and tumble action oriented GoPro user. But in everyday life, or strapped onto a drone, how does it compare? The biggest pro and cons out of the gate are that the GoPro is fully waterproof down to a significant depth. So if your action camera adventures include windsurfing or filming yourself hunting for treasure change in a local wishing well, then you may want to stick with the GoPro. The One RS is waterproof up to 16 feet, which is very nice, but you'll have to have it locked into a special case if you want to go deeper than that. The bigger feature is that if you want the versatility of being able to swap out lenses, sensors, angles, then the Insta360 system may be more in line with what you as a creator may want. Out of the gate, the stabilization on both is great. Many have often said that the GoPro is better in this area, but I feel like Insta360 is almost as usable walking around. The only hiccup I had was that sometimes if I was stepping too roughly, I could see a sharp step. It wouldn't catch it every time, but that is where you can see that this one still is five or 10% behind the GoPro. Both have the option of stabilizing in camera or post, but I prefer the in camera as I'm lazy and I just want everything spoon fed to me. Both have great color rendition and the option of different color profiles as well as auto settings or manually locking the shutter. One of the nice things about the Insta360 ONE RS is the versatility. Even with just the 4K lens, it feels more like a bit of video gear than a GoPro. You can configure the screen to be out in front for recording yourself 
or out and back for recording what's in front of you and the config switches so easily it's just like Legos. I prefer this to GoPro's dual screen configuration which feels like it gives you a second screen to risk smashing and likely uses more battery because of the larger screen which is also responsible for the higher price of the GoPro. So a regular user may actually prefer this but for somebody that is actually going to be sending this thing in the air flying and may risk smashing it having a reduced number of screens is actually preferred neither of these cameras have a great option for mic input the gopro does have the option for the media mod but in my opinion that's not the best solution either i really wish it had a line in so that i could use a wireless solution to lab or a lab mic in some sort that would really make a mobile creator solution but as it is the audio is pretty good for a built-in solution overall though the one rs does have a tiny windscreen built into the case but gopro still gets the nod for overall audio quality quick test of how the microphone sounds from this distance i just have this kind of placed on a little thing right here it's a little bit of this if you just handle now it is very wide so even just at an arm's length this camera is small enough to where the gopro is much louder and a bit clearer and even without a special case it seems to handle the wind slightly better i did feel like the snappiness of the menu system and responsiveness of the screen was slightly better on the insta 360 one rs so i'll have to give the nod there both have good interface for the phone apps and the phone apps on both work very very well i feel like the color profile vibrant out of this is a little bit more usable without the need to edit during the day so in summary i feel like this is a really cool option for those that want the versatility after all if you want both an action camera and a 360 camera with GoPro, you have to buy two separate cameras. Whereas with Insta360, you can buy this single camera with the two different lens mods, or you can add the 5K one inch sensor for even more low light and really cool videography shots. So it really is versatile. I feel like GoPro has slightly better image stabilization. I feel like GoPro has slightly better audio. The video quality of each is fairly close. This can only go up to 16 feet deep, but the GoPro can only go 33 feet deep. So not like you're gonna be going deep sea diving with either one without an extra case. I really do think this is the best selfie stick out there. And I do like that this one has less screens for those of us that are going to put it on a drone and fly it. GoPro still seems to be the standard for most, but if you want something that is a full camera system and change lens, there's nothing like the Insta360 line. So like and subscribe and comment if you want me to get that 360 mod and check out what it looks like from a 360 point of view. I'm probably going to have that up soon. Thanks, guys.
put this thing to the test. Put it on a drone and use this selfie stick, which makes you feel like Lion-O from Thundercats. And when you have it out this far, you get sight beyond sight. Try to pull this direction and then come back. Yes. Okay. okay. So, let's go through. And then exit, exit Something this here. Way. And I'm out. All right. Yeah. Nice. This is bad. So this is what happens at a nice spot, awesome place yeah. to fly, but these are some of the consequences. I hit that ding. This oh, hey, but he, he got lucky though. This person, this pilot got lucky. He found the, the bell. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Good. Nice. I'll put it nice. in. 